Today I'm going to build upon the discussion we had, or the lecture we had on tension factor. Today we're going to talk about the reduction factor. Tension factor, again, is the length of the sling divided by the hook height from the horizontal times the share of the load. So in the example here, again, 5,000 pounds would indicate that theoretically 2,500 pounds is carried by each leg. Now we know that's not truthful because we are not in a vertical situation. So we have to figure out what our tension factor is. In order to determine our tension factor, we would divide 20 divided by the 10, and we would get a 2. Now that would indicate, because that's a 2, that our angle or our horizontal sling angle is 30 degrees. And we know that there's an incredible amount of tension, two times the tension, as opposed to a vertical hitch. So each one of these sling legs, in essence, is carrying 5,000 pounds of tension because of the 30 degree angle. So obviously this is a bad scenario not truthfully a bad scenario, but we wouldn't want to go any lower than 30 degrees. And we would want to lengthen our slings or change our rigging hardware up. Okay, now going a little farther, we're going to talk about reduction factor. Reduction factor is the hook of the height from the horizontal divided by the length of the sling from pick point to pick point. So from pick point to pick point, indicated in red here, to here, and from the horizontal, from here to the top of the hook, or excuse me, the, uh, the uh, saddle of the hook. So that would mean that we would have to divide 10 by 20. Now, a reduction factor is always going to be in a percentage. So it's going to be less than, less than 1. It's always going to be a percentage. A tension factor is going to be one or greater. And in our instances, if we're rigging properly, it'll be one, two, two, and no higher without the approval of a qualified person. And the two, remember, corresponds to 30 degrees. So no less than 30 degrees without the approval of a qualified person, a qualified engineer, a, a qualified manufacturer of rigging. So reduction factor is going to be a decimal. So if we divide our, excuse me, If we divide our 10 into 20, we will get a percentage of 0.5. So we are immediately having to reduce 
our capacity of our sling by 50%. So the amp 0.5 equals, obviously, moving your decimal over two, two places gives you a 50% reduction factor because of our angles and our tension. So, for example, say these slings were only rated to 8,000 pounds. That would mean we had 4,000 pound reduction. Half, half of the known capacity. So that is how we use our reduction factor when we know the capacity of the sling. In this scenario, obviously, we would need to rethink our rigging hardware, rethink our slings, and make sure that we were configured properly. Let's take that angle to more of a 60 to 45 instead of taking it to a 30 degree angle. We're tensioning these sling arms, or these sling, uh, the slings too greatly. Again, this is a discussion of how to determine tension factor, how to use reduction factor, and how we would use this in a level pick. Our next lecture, we're going to talk about how we use the formulas for an off-level pick. How do we determine center of gravity? Thank you.